Hi everyone, my name is Angelina Halla and I'm a high school senior from Philadelphia. For my interview, I interviewed my parents. I asked them about their experience with mental health within an Asian community. My parents were both from the Philippines and they said that it simply wasn't talked about. Even if it was talked about, people said you were either crazy or normal. In short, there was no word for it and that's what I wrote my poem about. It's called, That's Just Life. Without a name, the shade in front of you, mocking you unknowingly, becomes a color unseen. But birds see more color than us. That's just life. Without a definition, that weight on your chest will suffocate you under pressures unseen. But gravity weighs down on all. That's just life. Without a meaning, that hurricane in your mind will drown you in depths unseen. But natural disasters always happen. That's just life. Without a simple phrase, the sensations on your skin will scorch you with flames unseen. But everyone gets burnt sometimes, that's just life. Many have been lost on a battlefield. They've been destroyed by the rocks in their chest, the floods in their minds, the fires on their being. But humans have always gone to war, that's just life. The claims of invisible illness fall short to the tangible remnants that build like sand grains. I've seen the tears, pain, and isolation. It's in the mumbling of, I'm fine, I'm just tired. There is a name to this disguised normalcy, and I can no longer swallow the words, that's just life. Without the acknowledgement or the one to know, to love, to understand, unseen mental health will claim many futures as unseen. But times have always shifted. It's time to learn, to feel, and to change because that's just life. I once learned how culture impacted the way individuals saw life when I was in middle school. In some cultures, there are no names for certain colors. Without a name, people of these cultures can't even see them. And I think this fact resonates with the struggle for awareness and visibility for mental health within the Asian community. People are quick to brush off other people's struggles because they don't understand them. They cast them off as just side effects of being alive. With no real definition to their struggle, people with mental health issues cannot even begin to help themselves get better. If you can't see the problem, you or anyone else around you can't fix it. I decided to compare the negative feelings someone experiencing mental health issues, big or small, would feel to things found in nature. I wanted it to be like their struggles were being compared to universally accepted things in nature that simply happened. There would be no arguments to something as universal as gravity or the weather. That could be used to minimize someone's struggles, but I think that it can also humanize them if they are being recognized. Seeing someone struggle and telling them that what they're feeling is as natural as gravity could give them hope. It all starts with acceptance and recognition when it comes to mental health, especially in a community where it has gone unseen for too long. Thank you for your time.